Okay, this is the um, second part of the LMT print film emulation of XDCTL um, tutorial where I go through the actual code of the DCTL. Um, in Resolve, in a folder called Developer, it's the same folder where the lot folder is, um, you will find information on DCTLs if you haven't read about it already. Um, and there is a, a readme text file as well as some other examples which go through the basics of DCTL and um, list of um, functions, preset functions that can be used. Um, so if you haven't uh, even gone over this, I would advise because otherwise you're not probably not going to make much sense of what's to follow. So. Um, we're looking at the DCTL. Uh, at the top, you see all these defined parameters, and these are the actual parameters that appear in the plugin. These ones here. Um, so it's just basically defining them and the default value and the range. Um, so I uh, will just skim all the way down to the bottom to. Just for a DCTL, this here, this device flow tree transform, and these um, arguments. This is the main function that's so, which is called. So basically, everything that's in here um, comes is a combination of variables and functions that are um, written in the early part of DCTL. So, for example, we start aces, we make it into a flow three aces with the red, green, and blue that's coming in. Um, if, depending on whether it's ticked in in resolve, you see a box here, aces CCT. Um, um, if it is ticked, then it we call this function aces CCT to aces, and it converts the incoming um, RGB values to from ACCT to ACES linear, ACES APO, or if it's not ticked, then it does ACCC to ACES. Um, so yeah, these two func functions are are in amongst here, and some of them are for example, CCT to ACES actually um, calls other f functions, basically called which other predefined functions, which is the ACES CCT to linear. And then it calls a function which is the F3, F, which is basically a uh, flow tree multiplied by a uh, three by three matrix, um, which is, and that three, three, three by three matrix is the AP1 to APO matrix. So a lot of the functions are have functions with embedded within them. Um, so, and that's a bool. So, because it comes down as a um, that that box basically ticked. Basically, if it's ticked, yes, true, it's true. If it's not ticked, it's false. And you have the math here, which is if if this is true, question mark. If it's true, then do this. Otherwise. Uh, the two dots, otherwise um, you do this. And we have other ways of doing that uh, by having the if um, statement. So if, and then if the exposure, which is that references the value up in the, up here, this whatever value sent from the plugin is here. Um, and then it uh, applies this function, which is exposure function, which here we are. Uh, it basically multiplies the values by uh, exponential two, or basically multiplies by two to the power of. So that's why you have. Uh, you can have proper stops because it's in linear light and you're applying um, uh, 
2 to the power so stops uh, this scale C um, is yeah, basically involves converting uh, the RGB to YCH color space and then multiplying the the um, the C part which is Y is with its X Y Z so Y is the second so if Y is the second then this, which is here just C um, and then it converts back to from YCH to RGB um, and there are various conversions which is basically what a lot of these these um, functions are uh, quickly back up to the top um, we have to, in order for it to convert from the CTL to DCTL uh, there's some structures that aren't um, there by default so we create them which in the case of which the chromaticity structure is the the um, flow to red, green, blue, and white. Some define things. If that's what this means is, if it hasn't been defined already, define it. Otherwise, you know, don't. There's no need. And in here, defining it basically replaces this. So, example, the APO to X Y Z matrix. Um, which it applies there, the actually applies a function RGB to XYZ to the APO, and that APO is um, uh, chromaticity. So by these doing this at the top, kind of preparing for when these things are called later on. Um, same with constants, this is stored in constant memory. Um, this list of all this um, device, which is. Um, something to be stored on the actual device which is generally the, the GPU um, as opposed to the host or as opposed to global this is specific to the, the GPU um, these are all have to be pre-declared for OpenCL it's, you don't have to ACUDA or Metal but for OpenCL you do so here you get them basically declaring and defining these various functions so fracture add um, a float to float to dot function clamp max and then make math three which make 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 a three by three matrix with um three float threes um multiply a float three by three by three matrix multiply three by three matrix by three by three matrix uh, invert three by three matrix, transpose three by three matrix, which is kind of just kind of rotating it, a matrix, um, and exposure. So a lot of these have come from the CTL, but a lot of them um, had to be included anyway because it wasn't part of the DCTL library of functions, which is relatively limited compared to. Compared to CTL, compared to GLSL, compared to um, a lot of other languages, but it is kind of new and there. And the thing is, though, you can you know if it, if it hasn't been declared, defined, you can you can do so. You can just you know add it to the to the top as a kind of a, a header inclusion. Um, right. Back down. Okay. So this is the basically the solidus math here is the ACES CDL, which um, you have your slope, your RGB slope, and RGB offset, and then power that includes the, the global. So you have the, your the red and the global combined, um, and then you create the the flow threes out of them. Make flow three. And then you call this function here, which will then here it is up here, which then basically takes all that information and applies it to the incoming RGB, and then you you finally send out uh, a flow three, where it's being converted. Um,
the gamma gamma just linear is pre contrast the function it's it's up above um now what was written here specifically I use these if statements is so that that to reduce the processing um expenditure and so much that if if you know if you could use it and basically everything is is every function is called whether it applies anything or not that can slow down the gpu um, and these are quite intensive the rotate h and h is quite intensive because it involves a lot of that function has lots of functions inside of it see here uh, to a degree but it does converting from rgb to ich and so on and just interpolate 1d and just and, and, and anyway so if that's doing that for every one of those increments we want to make sure that if nothing has been if nothing's been rotated, if there's a zero value, then just bypass it. Right? Don't go through that process, that kind of pipeline. So that's why they're all here. Um, so only if 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 uh, one of the if the rotation or the scaling of C is used, then it's it's called upon. That could all be called on, or nothing could be called upon. But it's it's depending on whether the the key parameter is has any sort of adjustment. Um, so yeah, that's um, that's the main body of the 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 um, LMT, the PFE LMT, um, and what I did add, what I added then um, to the the previous version was the option of every grain. Again, it's there's an if statement there, so if that's been activated then because that can be quite intensive as well you see the function here of this noise and random overlay they all get called and um, the noise one is depending on how the, in, the intensity and depending on um, I think it's it's called it's under uh, resolution It's called noise here. Um, it uh, that's it. Depending on on what value that noise is, it 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 defines how many of these it goes through, how many very and um, how many uh, processes it gets generated. So, kind of the higher the resolution, or in this case, the higher the noise value, the uh, more intensive it is. Um, Uh, there's an option for RGB, either have a monograin or, 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 or RGB. And then that gets overlaid. Um, and there's a particular overlay. Uh, which takes into account the ACES CCT curve. Uh, because, you know, normally for the overlay, it's, you know, it's, it's a 0 0.5 rule. But um, this uh, adapts adapts to zero point five to SCCT so that you have you get your proper response um, as well as being a uh, uh, filmic response because um, it is being applied in uh, in log. Um, so. That's kind of about it. I mean, it's, obviously you could go through all the different functions and go through how to explain what a DCTL is, which is kind of, which is a whole other thing. Um, and there's the various choices that have been taken. It's why these certain functions are, um, that come from the, the main um, body of ACE's um, CTL library. Um, but um, I can kind of that's kind of about it. Uh, if you kind of get what the structure is, the you know the main transform, and then and then basically 
you create the various functions that are required um, before it so that it gets called. Um, and this is all to say this is all self-contained. There's no you don't need any other inclusion files with other um versions of, of ACES DCTL. There are like a library of inclusion files, but for this to work on all systems and graphics cards and so on, it had to be self-contained, which is why everything that's used, it's called and so on, is basically declared and defined before, which is why it's even with a bit of trimming, it's just a little over 600. Um, so yeah, I guess for now, that's about it.